Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain you the software engineering process and software development life cycle, in short, SDLC. Software engineering process is the set of activities and associated outcome that produce a software product. Here, the software product is nothing but as per the requirement, any software is developed by the software engineering, then we say that software is a software product. Here in the software engineering process, the set of activities and associated outcomes that produces the software product. And mostly the software engineers carry out these activities and uh, there are four key process activities which uh, performs in the software engineering process. In all software processes, these activities are, number one is the software specification. We need to specify the software specification and its functionalities of the software and what are all the constraints on its operations must be defined in the software. The second is the software development. So software should be developed to meet the requirements of the stakeholders or the end users. So therefore, the second activity is the software development, which meet the requirement of the stakeholder. And third is the software validation. So software validation means to ensure that what the consumer wants should be developed. So therefore, we say that the software must be validated to ensure that it does what the customer wants. And fourth activity is software evolution. Any changes when the end user or client is needed that should be implemented. The software must evolve to meet the changing client needs. So these four activities we uh, use in the software engineering process. So in the most of the software processes, these activities will be performed. The next is the software development life cycle. In short, we say SDLC. Software development life cycle is a well-defined structured sequence of phases or stages in the software engineers engineering to develop the intended software product. Intended software product means or as per the requirement, the software product which is going to be developed should follow certain phases, certain stages that is well-defined and well-structured in the SDLC, software development life cycle. So we will find out some of the activities of the SDLC. So we have a set of activities or we say the phases which we need to perform in the software development life cycle. It starts with the communication, the initial idea or inception and thereafter requirement gathering is the second phase. Okay. So we gather the required needed and wants the wants things from the client or the end users after gathering the requirements we move to the next phase that is the feasibility study so feasibility study will uh, taken care or studied by the system analyst or the team of the developers and the system analysis will be taken place on the basis of the requirement gathering and next phase will be the software design. Software is designed according to the requirements and coding is written once the software designing completes. And after the coding, testing phase will be performed. And after the testing, next integration phase will be performed. In integration phase, we integrate all the modules together as a system and we implement that system at the user end. So releasing, we can say we release the system at the user desk, that is implementation. And next phase will be the operations and maintenance phase where the training part will, uh, training part will 
taken place and maintenance of the software will be done and final is the dispose uh, disposition 